probably left Cleveland fans wanting a little more, right? Fair to say. Yes. Lately, uh, he has found a groove, and his timing is good as we're just a couple days away from the playoffs. What jumps out to you about Caleb recently? The last seven games, he's actually been playing like something he wasn't in February, an all-star, which he was mm -hmm. in Minnesota. In particular, but that's going to be the challenge for him to play at an all-star level. When you're getting $20 million, like Biggie said, more money, more problems. We need to see it for the rest of the season. Well, and we didn't get to see much of him in the postseason. It's been almost exactly a year since he hurt that shoulder in the Boston series. So playoff time, crunch time for Kevin Love in particular this season. So from the second highest paid Cleveland Cavalier to the top highest paid uh, LeBron James. And Doug, it's been a little more than two weeks since Cavs coach Teron Liu pulled him aside to discuss basically some of the drama that LeBron James was creating himself. The cryptic tweets, the fraternization with Dwayne Wade during the games. What have you noticed about LeBron since that chat with his coach? Well, play your Tribune, Ben Lyons. Ben. I come bearing gifts. I brought you some yeah. Kleenex because I know Wednesday is going to be very emotional for you. Okay. Like a teething I infant. Okay. Just weeping, I think, weeping at the goodbye of Gnashing Kobe Bryant. of teeth. Kobe Bryant is no longer here. <laughs> okay, so listen. I remember, in, in, in interest of full disclosure, Ben and I are friends. I remember when the letter dropped. Guys, I want to release this poem on Sunday night, and uh, we did, and it and it was our highest and still is our most trafficked site, you know, I was, uh, was going to say, most trafficked to date. Yeah. The story got over a million clicks in the first two hours it was live shut down the site I'll time this afternoon so okay. i go play golf and kobe can do the work so All kobe's good. future is a chief <laughs> correspondent of the players review just kidding ben lyons thank you so much it's been enlightening nice to see you and it's okay it's going to be okay I'll the lakers okay. will be back I life can, goes on yeah. after kobe carries. i, I right. will it that is the question uh will life go on for the lakers let's talk about Kobe ending his final week here in Los Angeles. Here, that's why you're the inspiration <laughs> exactly. for it. But you recently, and I just mentioned this to you mm -hmm. as well, you recently wrote an article uh, mm -hmm. in the Players' Tribune, and you talked about your career and what it meant to be you, and you also talked about your time playing with the Lakers. And as far as Kobe's concerned, you said Kobe's dedication to the game is unreal, and I mean that in the truest sense. It was literally unbelievable. And as fans, we see the results, we see the rings, we see what he does, yes. but off the court, in the locker room, tell me about his dedication. Who was Kobe Bryant? You know, Co Kobe is the better at three, so he needs a. He needs to thank you for yeah, his, his three. Three game. Those four guys made him <laughs> get in the gym and work on his three game, big time. Right. Okay. So recently, Kobe uh, was asked about passing the torch, mm -hmm. and he says passing the torch is something you can't necessarily do. It has to be earned. Correct. As you look at the Lakers generation, and I know you work for TWC and you've covered the Lakers, you played for the Lakers. Do you see anybody on that roster that can carry the torch? Not right now. Social media to. You know, video games instead of just focusing on their craft and getting better as a basketball player. Uh, you also mentioned that when you left the Lakers, uh, it was not on good terms. You had hatred for that organization. And as you all know, there is a lot of questions uh, surrounding the organization who will lead, who will take the Lakers into this next generation of mm -hmm. perhaps being a dynasty once again. You think about the franchise, what do they need to do? You know, they just respect the business and sometimes feelings get involved and you, you get upset. And I was mad. I was literally mad. But, you know, I don't think the Lakers organization is, you know, worried about me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they're in the, in the way of just trying to find new athletes to come in here. And, you know, since, you know, guys like Durant, Westbrook and, you know, all these great free agents are coming up, they gonna have a lot of money to get. And who's out there and who's available. And when you look back when you played, the landscape of the NBA right now, and when you played, what's the biggest difference in terms of how business is conducted? Yeah, I think the 